These are the eight unwritten rules of script format that will help your script pop on the page. But like any part of writing, before you begin fixing problems, you need to understand why you are fixing problems. To fix problems, you must understand why they are problems in the first place and understand the goal of the fixes you are making. When fixing your script's pages, the goal is to keep the reader engaged. Your goal is to build your script to be read. You want to build a script that is super easy to read. Anyone who reads your script should get sucked into the story and should never be thinking about the script's format itself. Simple, clear storytelling is what helps a reader glide through your pages. Clearly visualize exactly what's happening in the scene sentence by sentence. Quick shout out to Scriptfella, who is a master at script readability and fixing your action and dialogue on a molecular level. And if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one to find and fix the problems in your feature-length screenplay, then click the link in the description below. Now that we understand the goal, here are the eight unwritten rules of script format. Number one, keep your action lines to four lines max. When a reader opens up your script, one thing they want to see is white space. When a reader opens up your script to see blocks of text that look like this, they are already checking out of your story and immediately skimming. Now this example is from Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. And you might be saying, well, Wes Anderson does it. Yes, and that is because he is known and already a valuable writer. An amateur writer with no previous work is not a value. And if you do what the pros do, no one will ever want to read your work. Instead, be extremely intentional with your scene descriptions. If you have a section that's six or seven lines long, find out where the fluff is in your sentences and reduce them down. Make it simple and clear. What are the most important scene elements you need to tell the reader? Don't add anything that isn't important to their understanding of where they are and what's happening on the page. Number two, remove or rework any action lines with two plus character names. Here's an example. Kyle hands Richard his rifle. He tosses Mark over his shoulders and races towards Nate. The mind can only visualize so many characters at a time. It's hard for a reader to visualize multiple characters doing multiple different things within one sentence. Split up your sentences based upon the character and the verb that is specifically happening in that sentence. For example, Kyle hands off his rifle. He tosses his brother's limp body over his shoulders. Dodging bullets, he sprints across the street towards Nate. This will make it easier for your reader to fully focus on the story rather than deciphering what you were trying to say on the page. Number three, reduce instances of double or triple prepositions. For example, the car sits in front of a bar in a busy town. There's way too much going on for the reader to visualize. You could fix it by saying, the car idles outside a busy bar. This is similar to having too many character names in one sentence. When you have too many prepositional phrases, the reader has to think harder about what they are actually seeing, and this takes them out of the story. Number four, remove or rework any clerical or instruction manual writing. For example, Eric walks into the room with his brother and sits down at the table. This is not cinematic. It's a boring sentence for a boring shot. The reader doesn't see a moment of drama in their head, they see characters going through the motions. Instead, you could write it like this. Eric storms into the kitchen, brother smoking at the table. Get away from basic blueprint style writing. This is your time to shine. The more you get away from writing like an instruction manual, the more your voice comes out. You don't build your writing voice by being overly indulgent and adding all of these extra words and flares to highlight how interesting you are. The goal is to use words that carefully describe the drama that will invest the reader in the story. Choose your verbs carefully. Which leads me into number five. Use a thesaurus to replace crutch words. Your script is likely full of basic verbs. Moves, sits, stands, looks, sees, watches, walks, steps, takes, scoffs. Most first drafts will have many instances of these weak verbs. This is your opportunity to enliven the drama on the page 
with verbs that describe more specifically and dramatically what is happening in the scene. For example, hurries, plops, rises, investigates, studies, steals, bounds, cackles. It's not cheating to use a thesaurus. Again, your goal is to build your voice and enhance readability. Number six, remove any instance of he starts to or he begins to. For example, replace he starts to read the magazine with he reads the magazine. Always focus your sentences around the key noun and key verb. We don't need starts to, he and reads, key noun, key verb. Don't add unnecessary words. He thinks about starting to possibly read the magazine. You can add these fake verbs all day long. Write clean sentences. Get to the point. Your reader wants to know what is happening. So tell them the drama clearly. Number seven, remove fluff from the start of any dialogue. You know, well, like, um, I mean, sorta. These words are weak. They make your dialogue sound weak on the page. Now, what if you have a character that specifically talks this way? Sure, that's possible, but it shouldn't be every character in the script, which is likely how it is now. Remove these words and watch your dialogue immediately feel cleaner. Number eight, the three line rule. Now I did a full video on this linked below. And this is a dialogue problem that I see again and again where a character is saying the same thing multiple times. For example, a character might say, Kevin, I didn't know you were coming. When did you get here? Does Martha know you're here? When you see this in your script, cut the two lines that you don't need and keep the one you do. This is one of the easiest fixes you can make and you will find that it lets your scenes move much faster without this extra unneeded weight of useless dialogue. Let's review the eight unwritten rules of script format. Number one, keep your action lines to four lines max. Two, remove or rework any action lines with two plus character names. Three, reduce instances of double or triple prepositions. Four, remove or rework any clerical or instruction manual writing. Five, use a thesaurus to replace crutch words. Six, Remove any instance of he starts to or he begins to. Seven, remove fluff from the start of any dialogue. And number eight, use the three line rule to fix the dialogue in your script. And if you are interested in working with me one on one to fix the problems in your screenplay, then click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.